What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, guys, uh, I was going to wait until we got to 100 million, but I'm too excited, so I, we're close enough at this point. The amount of DEC burned for the Soulbound unlocks is closing in on 100 million already. I mean, this is what, a week into it? Like we're, we're a little bit more than a week, eight days or so into this new era. And it's already become a 100 million DEC burn in my in, in my opinion, right? And now I'm including everything here, right? So you, you got 89.2 million for uh, actual DEC. You got uh, almost like a million here for, for credits and then another 2 million for DECB, right? So on the whole, what are we on? 93, 94 almost uh, in terms of the amount of DEC that has been burned in a week. Now, th this is probably going to slow down, but if you remember my video, like the first 24 hours after where we had already burned, I, I don't even know what it was, maybe 30, 40 million, right? In my head, I was like, I, th I was expecting it to slow down there. And I was saying, okay, my hope is that by the time we get to the end of the unlock, which is six months, right? Or I guess five months and three weeks from now, um, my, my thought was, my hope was that we would get to about 100 million burn. So we're already there now. And this is not counting any potential demand that comes in in the future, which will also go along with higher unlock costs, right? And we're still, you know, only a week in, so three weeks until we start seeing the, uh, the, the unlock costs start to go up. And I wonder if there will be any kind of, like, you know, FOMO or rushing to, to go and unlock it before we get to those, those points. But obviously, no matter what, like I want it to be demand driven, right? I don't want there to be a bunch of cars that are unlocked and then people get upset and pissed and then they just, you know, fire sell them on the market. That's, that's not going to help anybody. But what this says to me, right, is that reward cards now are actually a major source of DEC burn. They have become a huge DEC sink, which is the exact opposite of what they used to be. Like so much so that like it's it's kind of insane to me how how much this is going to impact the entire ecosystem. I don't think people understand it. Now, I don't want to count Chaos Legion because Chaos Legion, you know, rewards and set and all that was overprinted. But just to give you context, I'm going to go over here into Splinter Cards, shout out to Splinter Cards, and show you some of the uh, reward cards from the... Um, some of the reward cards from Untamed, for example, right? Which is a much, you know, smaller set. But look at something like Sandworm, right? So Sandworm had 400,000 cards printed. Now, the, the difference with this is that the collection power or the burn rate, right, uh, was, was 10 instead of 5. So Sandworm in and of itself was inflationary to DEC by 4 million. I mean, you combine this with, you know, some of the other common cards here. Let's just say there's a common card for each of the, uh, for each of the elements, right? Including, uh, maybe including neutral and dragon and all that, right? So just the common cards here, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, whatever, we'll just go with six, right? Or seven, seven. Yeah, perfect. So, so seven, what is that? Seven times four, that's 28 million right? 28 million DEC just for these. Now, did this, did this all turn into DEC? No, absolutely not, right? Because a lot of the cards are still there. And in order for us to turn those into DEC, they need to be burned. But that that kind of potential, that risk, that liability is always there. So whenever you print whenever we, we printed these cards in the past, the DEC liability was there. And that's what we're feeling right now with this huge drag of Chaos Legion. But what I'm trying to get at here is all of a sudden with a very small amount of players, right? Maybe this is the smallest amount of players that we've ever seen in the game, at least while I've been here with, you know, everything that's happened to the bear market, all the people that have left, even with this small group of players, we have now spent 100, almost 100 million DEC on unlocking these cards. And maybe we only spend 100 million, right? I, at this point, now I'm shooting for the moon. I'm like, maybe we can spend like 200 million, two, 300 million, right? By the time it's all said and done. But I'm just trying to show you the, the huge sink that this has created and the huge swing in DEC supply that this does moving forward. Because anytime we release new reward cards and then have them get unlocked, it ends up being a huge net positive, right? An asset rather than a liability for the ecosystem. Like this, this is this to me is tremendous because now every card coming into the ecosystem is going to require 
a ton of DEC to make it into an actual card. Whether that is a card getting unbound, right, from, from uh, Soulbound Rewards, or a card that's getting opened inside of a Rebellion pack or any kind of pack in the future. And hopefully there's not too many, you know, packs that are just given away for free. But, I, I, you know, that's, that's besides the point, and that'll be a marketing, you know, discussion. Um, so, you know, j just showing you in terms of that, I, I think that this is, you know, th this is a huge, huge win for the ecosystem. And to show that we are able and willing to burn 100 million DEC with just the small group that we have now makes me excited for, you know, the 500 players that we have here, a thousand players, however many you think there are, right? However many people you think there are here. I genuinely think, and this is not me getting bullish. In fact, I think this is quite conservative. I think we can two, three, maybe even four X that amount, right? I don't think that's out of, the, uh, you know, out of the, um, uh, what's that called? That's, that's, uh, within, I think that's within reason. Let's put, let's just put it that way. And if you say, okay, there's 3000 accounts in wild. So maybe there's 3000 real players, even though we know that's not the case, but on the high end, let's say there's 3000 players. I think a game having 12,000 real players is very much in line, right? That's very much within uh, believability or reason, uh, you know, within reason. So in looking at it, at it that way, and the fact that, okay, we're burning 100 million now, what if we could burn 400 million in the future every time one of these new reward sets came out? And if these new reward sets came out at, you know, at a rate of like every 1.5 years, right? Or every 18 months, I mean, this is a significant sink for DEC now. I just, I don't think people are grasping just how large this is and how and how much it impacts everything as the player base grows, right? It, it, it go, grows linearly in that sense because more players will want to unlock as we move forward. More players coming in will want to have that optionality to rent out their cards, to do X, Y, and Z. And I think that's gonna be important as, as we move along here. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Just wanted to share with you, obviously the, you know, the big news that we're closing in on 100 million. And now I'm setting my sights hopefully on 200 by the end of the six months. And, um, and to compare it to the past, and how reward cards in this ecosystem have gone from being a liability to a huge asset within the game to the game economy. Um, so, you know, I, I, I've had my issues with how the team is handled. Well, not, not the team, but just like the design of the game where it's just like, man, the team wants to sell cards, but they're also giving cards away for free. And it's kind of whatever. Now, the way I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, well... If we're going to be burning 100 to 200, 3, 500 million DEC every single time a reward set gets unlocked, the impact that that's going to have on the ecosystem overall, burning DEC and in turn burning SPS, that's going to be massive for the for the game economy, right? So it doesn't solve how the team is going to make money. But, you know, Matt has said in the past that, you know, he's trying to get SPS to go to the moon, right? He's had he's got different ways in terms of, you know, if the if the game economy is doing well, then people are going to be coming in and buying things, right? That's just how it works. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.